Welcome to Creations by Taryn and today we are going to make a sunflower wreath. Um, I had a customer that wanted a small sunflower wreath uh, because she's in an apartment so um, I thought she asked me if I could do it and I said sure. So I went ahead and cut all the mesh uh, and then I realized well it's Canada today I might as well do a live for you guys. So for my Canadian viewers, happy Canada Day! A day to celebrate being a Canadian. Um, so anyways, on that note, um, so you're going to need some stuff. So I had a couple of rolls of this um, mesh from Michaels. It's not the best mesh, but it is a mesh, a yellow mesh. Um, and I cut it at, this is like nine and a half inches, and I cut it at nine and a half inches. So I have a total a good square. Okay, does that make sense? A square. So yes, I did cut it with a wood burner and this is what a wood burner looks like hi Cindy happy candy today uh, and this is what a wood burner looks like this is a well used loved wood burner and I went ahead and cut all my mesh using a wood burner and I used just one roll which is what you need and I still have a bit left but I'm going to show you the fold so this is the mesh that I cut exactly in a square so nine and a half inches by nine and a half inches. I'm just going to put this aside. Lexi's laying here uh, just chilling. Lexi, for those of you that don't know, is my cat. Good morning, good morning. From Maine and Chicago. Hey. All right, so here is my mesh. And I have it cut at nine and a half inches. Now it's got um, a finished edge here and a finished edge on the other side. And if you use a wood burner kind of finishes this side it's not perfect but it holds its shape so I use curl side up of course so I'm going to take the bottom so I have my finished edge on the right the pure left and then I'm going to come to the top and I'm going to take a close peg hi Linda and then I put it at the top and then I take another close peg and put it here and I take one more close peg and I put it here. You don't have to do this. I do it because I like things to be pristine. And then I'm going to take out of my package of rubber bands that I got at the dollar store. And uh, <clears throat> usually they have clear ones, but unfortunately they didn't have them when I went. So I'm just going to go root through here and pick out one that'll match, which is yellow. And I'm just going to kind of put it around my fingers while I'm folding it. So we come from the top to the bottom and you're going to make a pleat just like that. And then you're going to take another pleat here, oh sorry, on this side and then one more like that. And then on the other side, a pleat and a pleat and then I don't pleat this side and then I take my rubber band. Hi. And I go about an inch up from the bottom and I just like put the rubber band on twice now you take these off so there's your petal that I'm going to put on my wreath form take your clips and put them aside and I need a pair of scissors um scissors 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 here's a pair of scissors now I do this you don't need to do this I do it just part of being OCD take this and I'm just going to cut the excess mesh off and the reason I do it is that it doesn't bunch on it in it so take my mesh and just cut it off and these aren't the best scissors but I think I've used them a lot so they're getting quite dull and then I cut all that mesh off and yeah this does take a little bit more time but not really so there you go. There's the petal. If you need to see it again, watch the start. All right, so there you are. So I went ahead and cut all my mesh that I needed, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So this is a wreath form that I'm going to be using. This is a wreath form from the dollar store, and they come two in a package. I think they're $1.50 now, um, and I'm only going to use one. And I had a piece of... Um, like embroidery like one of those squares of broider I only have one so I cut it out and this is what it looks like 
And then I just tie wrapped it all along. And I put like on each of the bars here, I put one in each bar and then I put one in the center and then I put my grid on it. Okay, so now we do a grid. So I'm going to show you. I just took something round. Um, I think I used a cup that I had in my basement and I put it in the center and I drew around it. So you want it to be about an inch from your last row or your last bar here and just draw a circle and then you're going to put your grid on it, which grid meaning I put a circle and then I cut it, like put, drew sort of lines through it. And what I want to have is, and we'll count them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine petals on the center. Okay? So you just figure out your grid and put nine petals. Some people don't put nine petals on the sunflower in the center. I do because I like my um, center to cover all of that. And then on the outside, you have three bars here, crossbars, and you're going to put a tie wrap on each crossbar and then you're going to put three in the middle between your crossbars. Does that make any sense at all? Give me a yes, it makes sense. Where can I find a video on using a bicycle wreath form? Um, not sure, but if you go to YouTube and just uh, just do bicycle wreath form video, it should show you. Okay, so I just want to make sure everybody understands that. So you're going to put nine on the center, and then you're going to put one on each crossbar, and then three on the center. So that should make, so that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14, 15, 16. So 16 on the e, the second row in, and then 9 in the center. All right? Okay, we got that. I'm going to put this aside for a moment. I've, got, I've done my fold, and I've got them all done here because I was going to go ahead and do it, and then I realized it's a holiday, and I can show you guys this. All right. <clears throat> so I've got these all made, and they're folded. And if you leave... Hi, Denise. Hi, De Happy Canada Day to you, too. If you leave them, the clip on it, for a while, it'll hold like this. So I'm just going to take my first one, and I'm going to put it in my zip tie, my first zip tie I have. And you want them all to go in the same direction. That's important. And I want to have my finished edge all pointing in the same direction. So you just zip it closed. And I probably should use a, um, having a moment. Um, let's see. Well, I have one. Lexi's been down here. She's been playing with my stuff while I've been gone. Hang on, I gotta get to some needle little suppliers. Hang on. For some reason, I can't find my new little suppliers, Lexi. Well, I'll just go with it. <laughs> so pull them tight. Happy Canada Day to you too, Sherry. And you found my cat. She's a traveler. She likes to travel. Where are my new little suppliers? It's going to make this a little bit more difficult. So if you have a cat one like mine who gets into everything <clears throat> sometimes she takes things and i'll find it two or three days later pull this as tight as they can so just place these you don't have to do that it's just what i do put this one down even little players make will make your life so much easier 
If you don't have a pair, go ahead and get a pair. They're not uh, expensive. You can get them at Michael's in Canada, that is. Not a lot of places you can buy craft supplies in Canada. Michael's is one of them that you can. Uh, they can be a little bit uh, expensive. So make sure that you click the coupon that always comes if you... Um, download the app you could just show the coupon on the app <clears throat> here in Canada anyway see I'm putting all these petals down it's gonna look good so there's one missing there it got all disheveled because of my cat taking off with my needle nose pliers Lexi Lou so just place these if you're watching this on YouTube, you can fast forward. <clears throat> so make sure you like and subscribe if you're watching on YouTube so you can see every time I post a video making a wreath or some other craft. Just tighten them up. And like I said, if you leave your uh, clip on at the beginning for a while, then you can certainly... Uh, Take it off before you make this and it stays in place. Now, if you're using mesh, you have to understand that mesh will fray. Any type of mesh will fray. Um, but if you use a wood burner to cut your mesh, it's a little bit easier. And it doesn't fray as much. And try to make sure if you can. If you don't care about that, you can make it any way you want. This is just the way I do it. Okay, so I just got a few more to put in, three more on the outside roll. So these work up really fast, and if you're making a larger one, you can use a, a unique in the creek flower, small flower board. That's what I usually like to make it with. Um, but she wants, she has an, a small apartment door, so she wanted a smaller wreath. Hi, Alicia, how are you? Happy Canada today. All my Canadian people. Why isn't that tightening up? Don't know. Sometimes you get your um, see, I put it in the right way and everything to get another one because that's not going to work now. So you just get your bag of uh, tie wraps. Put your tie wrap on. Hope I did well yesterday. <laughs> yeah. So for those of you uh, that are just new, I had a yard sale yesterday. It was so much fun. Um, Sherry came and helped me. Anthony's significant other. It was great. Sold a lot of stuff. And um, yeah, it was good. My son thought, what, what's going on? I had so much stuff. And he said, Mom, where's all your, like, my furniture? Well, I want to buy new. <laughs> so to buy new, I had to um, get rid of the old. A lot of people like to garage sale. First time I've ever had a garage sale. It's fun. All right, continuing on here. Yes, we're celebrating the Great North today. What are you guys doing with Canada today? All my Canadian people. Doing something fun? There's a lot of fireworks. There was fireworks last night. It wasn't Canada today, but there was fireworks. I'm sure there'll be more fireworks tonight. Yeah. Canada Day. Don't need, I don't think we need a special day to know how grateful I am to live here. Now it is a bit expensive here in Canada, but a lot of good things about it. One of them isn't <laughs> how much things cost here, but whatever. Okay. Do I like that? I don't know if I like that. There we go. 
Okay, so I got all my outside row in. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I said sixteen, I only have twelve. Okay, take my clippers and I'm gonna cut it. Your dog is petrified of fireworks, yeah? Lexi's a bit spooked by it too. She doesn't like it either. I just go ahead and cut all my tie wraps off. Animals can be kind of um, unnerved by certain noises. Lexi's gotten used to me. Used to be, remember when I first started doing lives? She would come and she thought I was talking to her. Your dog's name is Lexi? Lexi Liu. Um, when I was first started doing live, she thought I was talking to her. <clears throat> so she would always come up and look, see what's going on. And then realized that I'm not talking to her. I'm talking to myself. <laughs> Good morning, Annette. How are you celebrating Canada Day, Annette? Another Canadian on here? I just turn these to the side. There you go. Now I'm going to go to the inside. Once again, it's about an inch down from your bottom row. And then you just draw a circle. And you can put as many petals as you want in this. I'm choosing to put nine. Um, because in the past, it's always worked for me. So that's what I'm doing. So, and you're going to do it the same way as you did the other one. And this is where cutting them helps. So just place it down and cut it. Or, sorry, place it down and just pull it tight. I don't cut them all until the end. Make sure you're always facing the same direction. Your sides. Just give it a quick pull. It certainly doesn't take very long to make. That takes the longest just cutting the mesh. Just place them down. See, when you put these down, it covers up the one the spot that you haven't put a mesh piece of mesh in. Hi Dad. I haven't seen you in a while, my friend. Let's see. If I cut enough of these. I think I did. Oh yeah, I did. I only need three more. That's great. Just put this one down. Four more, actually. That's okay, because I cut one initially. Once again, try to make these the same size. If you don't, don't worry about it. Like, not all petals on flowers are the same size. This is just roughly. These sell so well at uh, spring and summer craft shows. Just place it down. Well, good morning. Good morning to you. Yeah, I have to make this, so I thought I'd come on and do a live. It's Canada Day, so, or, um, I'm, uh, off today, off work. Which is great. I know Americans have the third, the fourth, so they're, uh, will be at work if people usually come on. Let's place this down. One more, and I'm going to use the one that I already folded. Put the paper clip on. If you leave the paper clip on and long enough, it'll stay there. And if you don't leave it on long enough, you could just put a little bit of hot glue on the edge of it. There we go. That's the last one. 
Now I'm going to cut these all off. It's your birthday in two days, and then you're going to be 61. Well, happy birthday coming up to you. <clears throat> What you gonna do on your birthday? Carry. And just turn these to the side. Something that I do all the time is turn them to the side. Because that's what I like to do. It stops things from poking out. Okay? So this is my small flower. All done. Here we go. Now I'm just gonna put the center on. And I'm going to finish the back because I just like to do that. So, <coughs> this is my center I'm going to be placing on here. And I know by putting those extra pieces of mesh in there, this is going to cover the, um, the grid here I got. So, what I've done, I did this last night because I knew I was going to be doing this today, was just um, use Gorilla... Uh, E6000 to attach this back piece on. See it? So I used E6000 to do that. And I'm just going to put it on with one of these. <clears throat> so turn these. Just turn it twice. Or three times. Whatever. So then I'm going to place this on my um, board. So what I like to do is kind of keep them kind of close, but I want to make sure they're like directly across from each other. So I'm going to put one here. And I'm going to put one here. And then I'll make it right in the center. And I'm going to pull this tight. And when you do that, it stays in place. And believe me, these don't come off. So I take my zip tie and I cut it. And leave about an inch. And then I'm feeding that through. And I'm kind of going opposite. Just like that. Okay, so there's... It's probably burlap, Carrie, yes. All right, so there's the back so far. Okay, there you go. And this is the front. With the center put on. Now, you can go ahead and be done with it, but I'm not, I'm gonna finish the back of it, so I'm just going to come around, and I use a crossbar and I'm going to use one of these and I'm going to put it right on the crossbar just like that take my cutter and just cut this now if you're making it for yourself you don't have to put it back on but I'm making this for somebody so I want to make sure it looks good. Uh, I just realized that's a wireframe. I know. She needed a smaller one. <laughs> okay. Now, we're going to finish the back. And I previously made one of these. Uh, <clears throat> Lexi got a hold of it. She's got a real thing for... Uh, start, um, this stuff. See the little chunks? The Lexi chunks out of it? So here, you can see that she just, she wants it. Now she's sitting up and looking at it. So, <clears throat> what I, what I did, and I'm going to do another one just because she's, uh, she kind of ruined this one for me. So, I'll just give it to her because it's going to be hers anyways. And she'll take it and run. 
So I got another piece of foam, thin foam. So I take one of my other frames and I place it on the foam. Be cognizant of where the price is. I learned that the hard way. And then take anything and you can like use a pen, you can use whatever you like. Come around and draw on the outside. Just like this. And make sure you hang on to it. Like that. So we're going to cut it out. Put that away if you want that. She likes just pieces of it. And you're just going to cut out the circle that I've made. So I think it's really important to um, finish the back. I think it's just important. And it, and it protects the door. She can't help their mama with her wreath. Oh. Yeah, she likes she likes this stuff. Plays with it. It's everywhere. So just cut it around. So if I give this to her, she'll be happier in the clam. She'll grab it and take off. She didn't care. Now what I'm going to do is just, this is going to be, this will be the back, I think. No, nope. yeah. So I'm just going to make four. Well, I'm going to make two on the top holes. And then I'm going to come down at the bottom, make a hole. And I would have normally had this done, but let's see, uh, change that. And then I like to go in between, and that way it's secure on there. And I get this at, at um, Lens Mill Store. It's the cheapest I can find at Lens Mill Store. I'm going to flip it around. Hey, how are you? Lexi? Um, five maybe. I'm just taking these off. It's wonderful to see you. How have you recovered? I am, well, I go to see my neurosurgeon on the 8th. I would say... I am probably 90% back to normal. Maybe 95%. Okay, so I am really good until uh, about 7 o'clock now. For those of you that know, I, in April I had a stroke. Um, the stroke comes in many different ways, so just remember that. Okay, I've got my holes, and I'm going to place this on the back to cover all the stuff on the back. I'm looking to see where the top is. There's the top here. Lexi's here. I want to move her. Okay. Why don't you take this piece of... And go. There, she's gone. So I want to put this right in the top. It's wonderful to see you. Thank you. So I'm using... Um, these zip ties to do come on either side of this crossbar as we're and placing it down and don't tighten them too tight yet you want to make sure you have all these on before you go too tight I'm looking to see if she's taking it upstairs can you hear her She's playing with it. The small things that amuse the cat. All right. <clears throat> Just looking here. There you go. Where'd you find the center? I got my center from, um, I think I got it from 
a company that has gone out of business, but I know you can get them on um, with uh, Timu. They have them. And I think Lori at Unique in the Creek has them, but I think they're a bit bigger. Um, and that's because the wreath frame is bigger. Is there center foam? Yeah. Yeah. Foam and fuzzy. I need to go outside and cut my grass. My grass is grown well because it's rained here. What am I doing? Oh, I always put the um, cross from each other in first. Just make sure you come around and find the wire. Once you tighten this up, you won't be able to see it as much. Deco exchange. Yeah. Um, if you live in the States, it's a good place to get it. Deco exchange. In Canada, you can get it. You just pay a lot of money for shipping. Um, to get anything from the states and that's not fun but i think you have more choices in the states than you do in canada for sure there's not a lot of places to get stuff here and that's why i had to use michael's mesh which you don't usually like to use And at Michael's, their mesh is 19 feet. Now remember, this is Canadian. 19 feet of poly burlap mesh for $17. 19 feet. Um, <clears throat> so that is way less than the amount you get at the in the states and it's way more money don't understand it i guess they got a hold on the the industry see it and, the, and getting botched zip ties what if your friends in the united states send you crafting stuff is that allowed yeah I think as long as it's, cert it's under a certain amount, I don't have to pay duty on it. Um, Lori from Unique in the Creek, um, she sends me stuff. I'm going to be doing a live on her page, actually. She asked me if I would do a live. I think we'll do something fall related. It's July 1st, so you have to start thinking about the next season. Sorry this is taking so long, guys, but the cat got the um, the back. Okay, have I got them all? Here's one. How far are you from the border? About an hour. I'm about an hour from Sarnia. You have to think about the exchange too. Okay, now I'm going to tighten these up. So where's my two at the top? There we are. So I'm just tightening, tightening everything up before I cut these off. Take my clippers and cut these off. Do 
just adds a little extra protection. All right, and then I'm just going to turn these to the back because you order stuff and have it sent to New York, Niagara side, and then meet somebody and pick it up. It's a good thought. <laughs> yeah, there's places you can order stuff to in the States. All right, are you ready? <laughs> there's the back. completely done and you can put a logo on here if you want to and here is the front all done there you go and we made that well if you cut the mesh it would take probably half an hour but you make it in under an hour using a reef form not my favorite thing to do is make them on a reef form or a wire reef form, but um, I prefer to use Unique in the Creek. But you do what your customer wants. She wanted something smaller, and this is definitely smaller. So there you go. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Lexi's got her piece of um, styrofoam somewhere. That's good. All right. So that's it today for today. Happy Canada Day. For everybody out there who's Canadian and Americans, happy uh, 4th of July coming up to you too. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. I'll make sure you like and subscribe. So every time I come on, you do, um, you'll receive a notification. Um, and we're going to be starting into Christmas in July. Because it's July. So we're going to do Christmas in July. And until then, have a great day, guys. See you soon. I know.